In recent days, Clarence Thomas, one of the nine members of the Supreme Court of the United States, has been under scrutiny after it was revealed that a conservative activist paid his wife Ginny Thomas with instructions not to mention her name. The Washington Post reported that Leonard Leo, who is an abortion adversary and was heavily involved in Donald Trump's judicial nominees for the Supreme Court, directed the payment for Ginny's constitution polling and opinion consulting from a nonprofit organization to Republican pollster, Kellyanne Conway's firm, Polling Company. Documents obtained by the Post showed that between 2011 and 2012, the polling company paid a total of $80,000 to Ginny's firm Liberty Consulting with a plan to pay another $20,000 before the end of that year. This news comes following recent reports that has put the ethics of the Supreme Court justices under the microscope. A month prior, ProPublica revealed entanglements between Clarence Thomas and Republican super donor, Harlan Crow, who had paid for luxurious travels and at one point was involved in a real estate deal with the billionaire. Politico has reported that Neil Gorsuch, an individual appointed to the Supreme Court by Trump, profited from the sale of a home to the executive of a law firm which was considering to be involved in cases potentially heard by the court. Gorsuch failed to disclose the identity of the buyer in his mandatory reporting forms. These developments were further compounded in a hearing Tuesday took place at the Senate Judiciary Committee, which focused on the consideration of possible legislation to impose a code of conduct on the nation's highest court. The chair, Dick Durbin, had invited Chief Justice John Roberts for testimony, and although he declined, he did send a statement on behalf of the nine justices that reaffirmed and restated their foundational ethics principles and practices. The matter however, seems unlikely to progress. As the Supreme Court swung firmly to the right after the presidential election in 2016, with the majority of conservatives voting to overturn Roe v. Wade, expanding the rights to carry concealed weapons without a permit and cutting into the EPA's ability to regulate power plant emissions. Democrats have raised their voices in response to recent reports questioning justices' ethics and Senator Sheldon Whitehouse has tweeted his belief that Leonard Leo's business isn't before the court, his business is the court. Regarding the recent reports, Leonard Leo has declared that Ginny Thomas has a long history of working on issues within the conservative movement, and that the work she did was not anything connected with either the court's business or with other legal issues. Additionally, Leo has said that he has always made efforts to protect the privacy of Justice Thomas and Ginny, in what he believes to be an otherwise gossipy space. While the fact remains that the money received by Ginny Thomas was for consultancy on constitution polling and opinion consulting, it is difficult to say whether her work was in any way connected to Leonard Leo's multiple attempts to get the Supreme Court to consider his amicus briefs for 13 different cases. What does remain certain is that recently the Supreme Court has been involved in landmark cases that have shaped the next few years of the nation, from overturning Roe v. Wade to cutting into the EPA's ability to regulate power plant emissions. And though both the government and the Supreme Court justices may try to distance themselves from the unethical goings on behind the scenes, the age of conservative trolling has left a lasting polluting stain on the reputation of the nation's highest court.